Hello, Ellie here from Thankful Flow Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for another YouTube flow. Today we are doing a strong and stretchy flow. Um, I would recommend this flow suitable for someone who already has an existing practice. Um, there are gonna be some dynamic um, and stronger options in the class today. Um, but as always, really tuning in, listening to your body, taking what you need from the practice and leaving anything that you don't need. Um, so today we are going to be kind of building some strength in the body. We're going to be stretching into the hip space especially. Um, so leaving you feeling nicely energized, stretched, strengthened and a sense of a mind-body connection as well. Bringing that awareness into the body as we move. So we'll start the class in a comfortable seated position. So either cross-legged or legs out in front, and I want you to bring the hands to the knees or the thighs with the palms facing upwards. So closing off the eyes now so that we can ground into this practice or taking the gaze out in front. And on your inhale, I want you to bring your index finger to meet the thumb. As you exhale, release it. Inhale, bring the second finger to meet the thumb. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring the third finger to meet the thumb. Exhale, release. And inhale, bring the fourth finger to meet the thumb. Exhale, release. And again, inhale, bring the first finger to meet the thumb. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring the second finger to meet the thumb. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring the third finger to meet the thumb. Exhale, release. And inhale, bring the fourth finger to meet the thumb. Exhale, release. I want you to do that once more now without me, just going with your own breath, bringing each finger to meet the thumb and then releasing it on the exhale, working your way through. And this breathing technique is really good for focus, concentration, bringing you into the present moment, slowing the breath down, and each finger actually represents an element. And the philosophy behind this breath is actually about the thumb being the fire element. And each time it touches each finger, it's igniting all the other elements. It's connecting to those energies today, earth energy, fire, water, air. Once you're done, just come back to your natural breath. Notice any sensations within the body. Seeing if you can scan into the hip space. Svadhasthana, second chakra. So we'll be opening and stretching into the hips a little bit today in this practice. So thinking about how this area of the body feels for you today. And this energy center represents our connection to our emotions, our creativity. So setting a sankalpa, an intention for the practice, perhaps, perhaps that could be for you today to just be so aware of how you feel throughout your practice. How do I feel today? How does my body feel, my breath? How do I feel emotionally? Opening the eyes back up now, if you had them closed. And we're gonna interlace the fingers and we've got the palms facing in, but just reaching the arms up above the head and really moving from the waist here, start to take some circular movements going around and over to the side. Really moving into the front, back and side of the body. 
floating back in the other direction as well, feeling perhaps any little niggles, any areas of tightness. Noticing whatever is there for you. Keep breathing. These movements don't have to be super big. Well done. And release the arms. Bring the fingertips down to the side of you. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, float to the side. Take it back over to the other side. So getting a little bit fluid in this practice today. Feeling the fluidity of the movement. Of course, you can pause over to one side, then the other if that feels good. See if you can connect with this Svadhasthana, our water element connected to this second chakra, this energy center within the body. Well done, and coming back to center. We're going to bring the soles of the feet down to the mat feet roughly hip width apart and you can either have the hands to the backs of the thighs or you can have the hands out in front and we're going to lift the feet so coming into an avasana boat pose breathing here so then from your navasana bring your feet back down to the mat hands to the knees roll the shoulders open across the chest exhale drop the head round Come back up, left hand to the right knee, right hand out behind, take a twist. Send your gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale back to centre, twist over to the other side on your exhale. Well done, come back to centre and we'll do that twice more. So find your Navasana boat pose. Breathing here. Bring the feet down, hands come to the knees. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, open across the chest. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, come back to centre, take the twist over to the right. Keep breathing. And take the twist over to the left. Really reaching the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, making that space in your twist. Come back to centre, last one. Navasana boat pose. Feet come down, inhale, open across the chest. Exhale, round, drop the head. See if you can lengthen through the arms, draw the belly button in. Inhale, come back to centre as you exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, back to centre, exhale, twisting to the left. Getting the body nice and warm. And now coming back to centre with the feet, we're going to point the toes out to the, um, towards the corners of your mat. So feet pointing outwards. And you're going to see, you can use a little bit of momentum here if it helps to. So you could take a little rock back and forth and see if you can find your melasna. Now, of course, taking any blocks or props for your melasna, you might like to be a little bit higher up in your melasna today if that's what works for you. So we're going to inhale, try and keep the space across the chest, power up through the legs to standing. Exhale, can you sink the hips back down? Just come down as low as feels right for you. So three more, inhale, coming up. Exhale, back down. Two more, inhale, powering up. Exhale, coming back down. One more, inhale, powering up. Exhale, coming back down, pausing here. Breathing, reach the crown of the head to the ceiling. Well done, power back up to standing. Come and stand at the top of your mat, feet roughly hip width apart. Take a little shake out here. Shake the arms, the hands, maybe the legs. Really great way to just release tension from the body. Getting into that shaking movement. Shake off anything that's not serving you, anything that's no longer needed. Let that go. 
ground into all four corners of the feet. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, fold forwards, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the chest and lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat, step or float back to plank. Flow through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips come to the sky, downward facing dog. Seeing if you can take a little bend through the legs in your downward facing dog. Keep pressing the mat away with your hands so your belly's coming towards your thighs. Well done, lengthen out through the legs again. Inhale, send the gaze between the hands, step or float the feet in, lift the chest, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up, lift your heart away from your tailbone. Exhale, hands through to heart center. And again, so warming up into the body. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Lift your ribs away from your hips. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, lift the chest and lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step or float it back to plank. Inhale, into your upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, float the hips up, finding a downward facing dog. You can always take a child's pose at any time, always listening to your body. Breathing here into that space. Take a moment to check in. How does my body feel? How am I feeling in my practice today? Noticing whatever is there. Inhale, send the gaze between the hands. Step or float the feet in, lift the chest, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, reach the fingertips up, grow the spine tall. Exhale, hands come through to heart center and Jali Mudra. Inhale, float the arms up, grow the spine tall. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, step or float back to plank. Inhale through into upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale back to downward facing dog. I'm just adjusting, <laughs> just getting my hair out of my face there. <laughs> so checking in, taking any adjustments that you need. And then on the inhale, we're going to float this right foot through, bring it to the outside of the right hand so we're in a lizard. Now, option to drop the back knee, but seeing if it feels okay, if it feels right for you, you're going to stay in an active lizard, so keeping that back leg off. We want to hug this right knee towards the right shoulder, breathing here. Maybe taking a little bit of gentle movement if that feels good too. Now from here, grounding into the hands, can you sweep that right leg back into a three-leg dog? Opening into the hip space. Inhale, draw this right knee in to tap the right elbow. Pause here. Press the mat away with your hands. Step your right foot through between the hands. Sweep the fingertips up, high lunge. Lifting the heart up towards the ceiling. Powering into your right leg, bring your left hand down to a block or the mat. Find your revolved Ardha Chandrasana. So we're in our revolved half moon. So for some of us, this might feel more comfortable than the usual half moon. For me, because I, my hips like to open, <laughs> having a closed hip is actually more challenging but just noticing noticing how that feels for you 
breathing here. And then we're going to see if we can come away from our revolved half moon with control and take a big step back, finding ourselves into a goddess. So we're in a goddess, hands are coming into heart center. And we're taking some little baby pulses here, really trying to open into the hip space. So bring some weight into the outside edges of the feet, taking those little pulses. Well done. Maybe you can relax the face, maybe even find a little smile. <laughs> well done, and release. Pivot the toes to face forwards. Hands come to the hips, inhale, reach the crown of the head upwards. As you exhale, imagine hinging from the hips, keep the spine long as you fold forwards, Prasarita Padottanasana. Take a micro bend in the legs here if you need to. Stay higher up, you could have your hand on a block. Maybe you're bringing your hands down to the mat. Maybe you're walking them through. Maybe, if this is in your practice, you could take your tripod headstand. So, maybe the head's coming down to the mat and you're lifting the feet away. Again, if this is not in your practice or it's not for you today, stay in the fold, bringing some weight into the outside, um, into the balls of the feet. <laughs> if you're in your tripod headstand, maybe sweeping the legs up and around in together. Just being really mindful of the head and the neck. We want a lot of the weight here to be actually coming into the hands, pressing into the ground and the arms supporting you. And then seeing if you can float the feet back down to the mat, everyone meeting in their presserita. Hands come back to the hips, inhale, lift the chest. Start to come back up. Pivot around on your mat. Flow the arms down to frame your front foot, step it back to plank and flow through your chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale back to your downward facing dog. Hips are lifting. Taking a child's pose here, if that feels right for you. Inhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Find your lizard. Option to drop the knee if you wish to. Tucking this left knee to the outside of the left shoulder. And start to take any little movements here. Maybe it feels good to take a little rock or sway. Maybe it feels good to be in stillness. So there's no right or wrong. When we're listening to our body and being in a place of awareness, there isn't a right or wrong. It's really a case of checking in with that intuition, that inner knowing of what is right for you. Now, starting to ground through the hands, sweep this left leg back. Can you find a three leg dog? Opening into the hips. Stay strong through the shoulders. Sweep the left knee through to meet the left elbow. Pause here, can you hold it? Press the hands into your mat. Step the left foot through, reach the fingertips up, high lunge. Feeling that warmth in the body, lifting the heart up towards the ceiling. And then powering into your left leg, right hand comes down to a block or the ground, find your revolved half moon. So left fingertips are sweeping up, so we're closing off the hip. Stay with your breath, breathing into any wobbles and shakes. Just coming in and out as many times as you need to. Well done, seeing if you can float away from your revolved half moon into a wide leg position. Toes pointing out, hands to heart center. Exhale, as you sink down through the legs, lift up through the core, pelvis drawing up and in towards the body, coming into your goddess. Come back to those little pulses. 
keep checking in with those knees if they're wanting to come inwards that's okay try and bring some weight into the outside edges of the feet notice what happens when you do this <laughs> you might feel those hips opening a little bit more stay with those little pulses well done you're doing great and release point the toes forwards I said it would be dynamic <laughs> hands come to the hips inhale crown of the head reaches upwards exhale fold forwards coming back to that prasarita again stay higher up have the hands on blocks if that's feeling right for you today folding forwards option again here if it's right for you to come back to that tripod headstand and this time when you start to come out option to see if you can come into your bacassana crow pose so as you come out of your headstand maybe bringing the legs to the backs of the arms Just being mindful if you're practicing this at home on your own, please, please be kind to your body. Do not force anything. So if you're in your headstand, maybe coming through a little crow pose. If you've got space to and you don't have a radiator behind you. <laughs> And then coming back to Prasarita, shift a little bit of weight into the balls of the feet. Hands come back to the hips, inhale, lift the chest, keep the spine long. Start to lift back up. Well done. Pivot around on your mat, float the hands down to frame the front foot, step it back, flow through a chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale back to downward facing dog. A little opportunity to take a child's pose here if that's what you're feeling for. Remember that you can rest at any time in this practice. I'm guiding you, but this is your practice. Inhale, we're going to step this right foot through between the hands, drop the back knee. Keep your left hand grounded and inhale, reach the right arm up and over. Seeing if you can point your right fingers to the back of the room, follow with your gaze. Or you're just coming in that direction. Option to then, maybe bend in the back leg. Maybe the hand finds the foot, so getting this really juicy quad stretch and hip flexor stretch on that left on the left side breathing here we're also opening this right shoulder reconnect with your breath come back to your inhales and your exhales release the back leg and then i want you to tuck under your left toes and we're gonna try and pivot around to find our right side Skandasana. If you're much higher up here, that's okay, work there. So into right side Skandasana. See if you can take it over to left side Skandasana. Back to right side Skandasana. And then pivoting around, you can use the hands to support you or you can keep them off the mat. Find a right side high lunge. Lift the heart away from the hips. Ground into your right leg. Find a warrior three. Option to bring the hands to blocks. Take any modifications that you need. Well done. Hands come down to the mat. Step the feet back. Come through your chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. And 
and then we inhale step the left foot through between the hands drop the back knee keep the right hand grounded or could go to a block is a really nice option to support here inhale sweep the left arm up and around till these left fingertips coming to the back of the room or in that direction if you're kind of up here that's absolutely okay be where you are today in this present moment maybe the left hand finds the right foot I had to remind myself of my lefts and rights there for a second breathing here notice where you can feel the opening within your body and then release the back foot seeing if you can pivot around to come into a left side skandhasana again stay much higher up if that's what feels right for you can you move over into right side skandhasana use the hands here to support if you need to come back over to left side skandhasana again bring your hands down or onto blocks as a nice option to support or maybe if you want to have a little go without you're going to pivot around on your mat lifting that back heel find your left side lunge <laughs> no worries if you're rolling around on the ground <laughs> lifting that heart away from the hips and power into your left leg fine warrior three press back through that right heel hands can come to blocks here breathing strong in a line of energy well done bring the hands down to the mat take a big step back and we're going to come back to a downward facing dog and breathe inhale through the nose i want you to exhale out through the mouth take a big releasing breath let it all go and we're going to drop the knees down to the mat bring the hips down and I want you to lower yourself down to a lying position on your mat and we're going to finish the class with a happy baby so bring your hands to either the backs of the thighs calves or feet and then drawing those knees in towards the armpits you can start to soften the gaze or close the eyes here and start to take maybe some gentle movement could be a little rock from side to side maybe it feels good to stretch into each leg Noticing how those hips are feeling. And this water element, this connection to Svadhisthana is all about how we flow with life, how we flow through life. Are we flexible? Are we adaptable? Do we feel like we have those strong foundations beneath us that keep us grounded so that we can then flow and be creative and allow our emotions to be there do we allow ourselves to sit with our emotions and feel them and then let them pass through and just releasing the legs from your happy baby now letting the legs drop down to the mat Bring the arms out to the side, palms facing upwards. Take an inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth.
if you have longer then I definitely recommend taking a longer shavasana here at least 10 minutes to finish your practice these flows are condensed flows but I really always recommend at least 10 minutes of shavasana at the end of your yoga practice or longer if you have time Otherwise, you're gonna roll over to one side of your mat now. And then from here, gently make your way back up to seated. Take a big shoulder roll, let the shoulder blades run down your back. Let your sitting bones sink down into the mat. And we'll start to open the eyes, just taking a steady gaze. I don't know about you, but I can feel that real shift in energy um, as we've come to the end of that practice. I hope that you enjoyed that class. Definitely strong and definitely stretchy, um, but comment and feedback to me on how you're getting on. Um, and I always love to hear from you. So yeah, please let me know. Um, do subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. And thank you so, so much for choosing to practice with me. So much gratitude um, for those of you on here. Um, yeah, it's amazing to see other people flowing with me and I can't wait to yeah see you again, hopefully for another flow very soon. Take care, bye-bye.